Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So let's say you're some sort of engineer and you've just invented a device that will dampen your spring. So here you would you would start here, push your spring up to let's say to a level of two. That's really you doing this on the graph. So you push it up to a level of two and then you're going to release it. So going back to the spring, sorry about the sound in the background, they're doing some shooting work. So uh, so you would start with this spring here, you would push it up to a level of two. And then, uh, and then you're, you're going to release it. When you release it, it's going to do something like this. And over time, it will settle at its equilibrium point. So looking at the graph here, you can see that the, uh, the mass will spend the majority of its time above zero. And then it's going to go below zero. And then it's going to go above zero. So, um, so find the average distance over the time period of zero and two pi. So me asking you to find the, uh, the average distance of between the interval of 0 and 2 pi is a bit like me in the past giving you this. In the past I would give you a fish tank here where, where this here is one pump of a sine graph and, uh, and uh, so, so this is 0 and this is pi here this is, uh, this is your fish here um, so I, I would ask you to find out the, the, uh, the level of, of, of which your water will settle at so, so this is one pump of, of your water level here um, so, so when, when the water settles, it will settle somewhere around here. What, what is the height of this thing here? Well, the height of this thing here is really you finding out the whole area of this water, of this water here. And then you would then divide it by the distance from zero to, to pi here. That would then give you the height. And that height there would be your average height. Well, me asking you to find out the average distance uh, of this spring between the interval of zero and two pi. It's a bit like me asking you to find out the area of this, uh, the area of this, and the, the area of this lump here, of this hump here, and then uh, and then dividing it by the distance from zero to two pi. That would then give you your average. Your average should be I don't know, maybe around here somewhere. So we'll find out the average uh, the average distance, okay, between the interval of zero and two pi. So press pause and have a go. So to find to find the average um, distance, it's really you. It really boils down to you finding out the area, and then dividing it by dividing it by this this distance here. So you finding out the area would be you doing this zero to two pi, and then uh, and then and then this thing here, which would be two e minus t uh, cos of t dt here, and then and then. And then you would have to divide it by uh, two pi. That would then give you the uh, the uh, the average distance. So really, it boils down to this. Uh, so so now this is a constant. Take it out. So that will then take you to here. That will then take you to to here. And then from here, you can well, hopefully by now you you can recognize that you've got to use integration by parts. But the thing is, when you use integration by parts, this bit here is just going to go round and round in circles. This bit here is just going to go round and round in circles. So you know you've got a scenario where you've got capital I equals blah blah, maybe uh, capital I over here, and then somehow merge the two capital I's together. Okay, so so we've done this many times in the past. So you so when you get to this stage here, you you should realise that you would need to use integration by parts. But uh, but rather than using integration by parts several times. We, uh, we would, we would jump to this table method here. And again, we've done this table method in the past several times. So, uh, so by now you should know. So, uh, from here, uh, jump to the, uh, jump to this table here. And then, and then from the table here, you re remember this is plus, minus, plus. So the first part here will be this. So plus this bit here. And then, uh, and then take away, uh, this bit here. Um, but then you've got a minus merge with this minus that will then give you this plus. So um, so this bit here would be this, and then this bit here would be this. And remember the last part it, it would be plus minus plus. The last part would be plus plus the integral of this bit here. Okay, so so it would be this this this, and then for the last part it would be the integral dt. Of this, so this would be plus minus, and then the last part would be this. It would 
So the last part will be a plus um, the integral of this bit here. So, so when you get to this stage here, this table here, it will be this, which is this bit here, and then this, which is this bit here, and then and then the integral part. So the integral part, dt, uh, and then you've got your plus here. So remember, it's plus, minus, and then plus. So the last part will be plus the integral here. But then, but then you've got this minus within the integral. Take it out. That will then give you this bit here. Okay. Well, we've done this several times. So by now you should, uh, hopefully you, 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 you should understand it by now. So, um, so now get this times this times this times this. That will then take it to this stage here. And then uh, earlier we said, earlier we said, let's capital I do this. Earlier we said, let's capital I do this thing here. Well, this thing here, this thing here, is this bit here. Okay, so that's your capital I. Um, and then, and then you would add pi to both sides, so that would then give you this. And then blah blah blah, uh, that would take you to this. And then, um, and then now we, 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 um, we would need to evaluate it from 0 to 2 pi, so that would then take you to this. Okay, because if you think about it, when, when you get to this stage here, um, you, you would need to get this, take away, take away this. So if you put this into here and into here, blah blah, blah we've done this several times. From here, that will then take you to here, and then uh, and then let me think. Uh, yeah, that will then take you to there. So so the area is given by this. So if, uh, so remember the the area. Sorry, I can't think of the background noise. So we are currently here at the moment. That's the area. That's that's this area here. But then we will need. So, so, so that's this area here, but then we will need, to get the average height, we will need to divide it by this distance of 2 pi, dividing it by 2 pi, so the average uh, distance is given by this, okay?